Hi, my name is Madison Huss, and I decided to do my biology role model assignment on Arthur L. Horwich, famously known for helping discover chaperones in proteins within the mitochondria. B but before we talk about that, we need to know how he got there. Arthur became interested in science for as long as he could remember. He was constantly asking questions in his classes and was said to be very curious about the world. In middle school, he would often accompany some of his father's friends in the medical ward, who were doctors, and Arthur was said this was the first time he realized he wanted to become a doctor. In 1969, he then attended Brown University and enrolled in a new program that combined the undergraduate degree with medical school. He later graduated as valedictorian of his entire class. After six years of schooling, he went to start residency for pediatrics at Yale University, where he quickly realized his interest in molecular biology. He then transferred to Salk Institute with a position in molecular biology and virology. After he went to Yale University to study in a lab under Leon Rosenberg. Eventually, he got his own lab right across the hall and was able to start performing his own work. To the average person, it may appear as Arthur has no hobbies. But to Arthur, his work is his hobby. Because of his love of science, he has no problem spending his free time doing more research and burying himself in his work. Some describe Arthur as a workaholic because he spends most of his time in his lab researching. He loves his work and is constantly fascinated by new discoveries. One of the things most admirable about Arthur is his passion and love for science. To him, his work is his, is his entire life. I think it is cool to see someone so invested to find new answers and push the boundaries of what is unknown. He is also very persistent to find answers and won't slow down his research just because of a minor hiccup. One of Arthur's first discoveries was an unfolded protein in the mitochondria, but it wasn't discovered until a year after he started his own research. Lastly, if it wasn't for Arthur's curiosity, I don't think he would be where he is today. He's always pushing the boundaries for science and always testing new theories and ideas. When Arthur was finally able to start his work in his own lab, he carried on from works he was previously curious about working under the hands of Leon Rosenberg. Highly specialized in microbiology, he started looking at protein imports into the mitochondria. Every time he noticed that a certain mutant protein wasn't folded and its function had no activity, However, he soon realized it was due to a protein folding error. This then led him to the discovery of the HSP60 chaperone. The HSP60 is a chaperone is a type of chaperone in the mitochondria responsible for folding proteins. It uses ATP to assist in the protein folding and is composed of a molecular lid. Recently, Arthur and some of his colleagues have been studying the HSP110 protein in the mitochondria and how it can effectively reduce acyclic fibrillar pathology. By doing these studies on mice, it has shown a great increase in survival among mice who are suffering from neurodegenerative disorders, specifically its effects on Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease. Also, they studied how the HSP110 protein, when overexpressed, can elevate chaperone levels in the cytosol of the mitochondria. This is shown to be what they deem as an effective therapeutic strategy against neurodegenerative diseases. Arthur had previously discovered the HSP60 chaperone in his work done in the Yale lab. Presently, Arthur is very focused on neurodegenerative diseases and how the misfolding of proteins can affect them, specifically in motor proteins and neurons within the brain. In his future, he hopes to understand how a misfolded SOD1 enzyme can lead to a form of ALS. SOD1 is an enzyme in the cytosol of neurons, and their function is not quite known yet. Arthur hopes to answer this question and many more in his future.